Hi, my name is Obalim. Welcome to this particular session. Um, I've decided to make this video because I get a lot of inquiries about how to download and install the Primavera P6. So usually a lot of people ask me questions about how to download and then also install Primavera P6 and that is exactly why I'm making this particular video. So you can follow the video step by step and then of course by the end of this particular video I can guarantee you that you'll be able to download whatever the latest version of Primavera P6 may be and then also be able to install it. So the first thing you need to do is you simply go to Google and you type in e-delivery. So you can see it comes up here as a suggestion. So you can type in e-delivery oracle or if it comes up as a suggestion, you simply click on it to select it. So once you do it, Google will take you to the search result. And then of course, you're gonna see the e-delivery as one of the options there. So you simply click on Oracle Software Delivery Cloud. So once you do, it will take you to the website, that's the e-delivery website. And then it will ask you to either sign in or to create an account. So if you don't have an account before, then of course you need to create an account. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to be creating an account. So I click on create account. So once I get to create account page, then you simply fill out your information there. So I want to fill out this information and then you enter a password you will use. Then you retype your password and choose your country and then fill the other information that you have there and then agree to the terms and conditions. So once you've done that, you now click on create account. So the moment you finish creating your account, it will ask you to check your email. And when you check your email, you're gonna see a verification email from Oracle and that would now enable you complete the account creation process. So let me check my email now. And within the email, you can see a mail from Oracle, which is exactly what I have here. So I open the mail and it will ask me, there will be a link here for me to verify my email address. So I simply click on verify email address. So the moment I do that, it gives me this success that your account is ready. So once I do that, then it gives me the option to continue. So I click on continue. So you can see that um, it takes me back to the e-delivery page. And then this time around, I will now sign in with the email address and the password that I created the other time. So I simply click on sign in. So I enter my email address and then I also type in my password. Then you can now click on sign in. So you can see now that I've been able to sign in. So you can see my email address conspicuously displayed here. And then also um, a sign out part, that is if I choose to sign out. Okay, so once you're in here, you're gonna see a couple of Oracle products. So there are a whole lot of them that are actually here that you can choose from, depending on exactly what you are looking out for. So you can also go to popular downloads and see what are the popular items that are being downloaded in um, Oracle e-delivery. So you can see from the list here that is being displayed, you can see that, so you can see that Primavera is one of the most downloaded or recently downloaded softwares from Oracle e-delivery. So another way you can do this is in the search button, just in the event you don't have this suggestion. So you can simply type in Primavera P6. So from here, you can choose Primavera P6 Professional Project Management. So I click on it. And then it gives me the options that I can actually download from. So if you notice, we saw this particular option number one when we checked our popular downloads. And you see that these are the latest, this is the latest version of Primavera P6. So these are other previous versions. So this is version 20.12. That's the latest as at the time I'm making this video. Then there are also other previous versions. So anytime you log in, you will definitely see the various versions that you have there. Notice that for some of them, you will see the DLP. This is quite explained here. DLP simply means download package. That's the meaning of DLP. 
so when we talk about download package here yeah, if you use the dlp version you're basically going to be downloading everything about the software that's what the download package refers to but let's say for example you have a previous version say you have 16.2 and you want to upgrade it to a newer version so instead of downloading the whole package again you could download the release that is the one that has the rel you can see the ones that have the rel here so if for example i want to download just the update I, I could just simply use the rel but then in this case we want to download the full package so you click on the very first option here so remember we're clicking on the dlp that is download package primavera p6 professional project management um, as of today we're downloading the 20.12 version of this particular software so the moment you click on it it will add it to your list of downloads that's exactly what you have here all right so once you, it has been added you can simply click on it or hover your mouse on it and click on the continue button so it will take you to the page where you would want to download your primavera p6 and then all you simply need to do again is you click on the continue button and then once again you would accept the oracle terms and conditions okay so you click on i've reviewed and accept the oracle license agreement please feel free to read the agreement especially to be able to determine if there are things within the agreement that you might not be comfortable with but please note that if you do not um, accept this you may not be able to download so after you have clicked on um, accept then you can also click on the continue button and then sometimes this survey might just pop up so just in case you want to take part in the survey you could just answer the questions otherwise you can click on the close feedback and it would close this so when you get to this page it will show you all the various options that you may want to download so you can see i have the application here then next i have the database setup so this is necessary if you don't already have an existing database say for example sql server in your system or oracle database then there's also the integration api as well as the primavera p6 professional documentation so in this case i really do not need all of these other items i just want the primavera p6 application so i simply uncheck these other items that that you have here so once i've finished unchecking them yes yeah, so you can see it's only the primavera p6 professional application i want to download so i click on the download button and then i once i click on download if you check here you will see the download you see the oracle download manager so first of all you to download the oracle download manager so you can see the oracle download manager here so all i simply need to do is i click on open file and then it will ask me if i want to run the oracle download manager i say yes so i click on run so once i do that it will ask me where i want to download my software so to ask you where you want to download it to so in this case it will drop straight into my download folder but just in case you don't want it to drop straight in your download folder you can click on this drop browse button and choose exactly where you want to download it to and then you click on next and once you do that the download will start so you can see it's already downloading so once it has finished downloading you will see this complete button it will show complete to show that it has finished downloading so i can simply access the folder by clicking on this open button or i can go to my file explorer and then check in my download folder so i check on i click on open and it takes me straight to my download folder so you can see the item i downloaded which is this very first one here and then of course i unzip it so i click on it make sure you have a zip opener like a winra or any other one i open the folder and then of course you can see the professional p6 setup again i unzip this so you can see i can still extract it to that same folder so i click on ok so if i go back to the folder now so you can see the unzipped um, setup so um it's now totally unzipped so once i open the folder I can see the setup here and then I can 
install it directly from this place so i can simply double click on this so when you double click on this it would come up with asking you if you want to install the typical or the advanced so I want to install the typical and then i click on ok and then the next thing is it to ask me to install so i click on install then whatever pops up you click on yes and the installation begins So you can see the installation is progressing. So once it finishes installing, you get a message that the operation you requested has been completed successfully. And then because Primavera runs on an existing database, so it will ask you basically to link the Primavera to your existing database. So you make sure that you check the run database configuration if it is not already checked and then click on OK. So once we do that, the database configuration will now run. So the database configuration window is now up. In this case, make sure you select the PMDB, that is the project management database. And then under the driver type, make sure you select the uh, P6 Pro standalone SQL Lite. And then again, your database alias, of course, it will also show PMDB, basically taking the name of your database. Then select add a new standalone database and connection. Please make sure you select the add a new standalone database and connection if this is your first time. If you already have an existing um, P6 that you have, um, let's say before now you had a P6 in your system, and that's when you may want to link to existing database. Other than that, it's safer you go with you know adding a new standalone database, and then you click on next. Um, at this part, it would ask you to enter your login name for your P6. The login name, of course, is admin and then to ask you to enter your password. So for the purpose of this exercise, we're just gonna copy the login name and paste it as our password. Then also under confirm new password, you also paste it there. So it simply means that our login name will be admin and then our password will also be admin. Then to ask us for our base currency. So your base currency is the currency you want to use for the purpose of your scheduling which will be the basis upon which every other currency will be converted against. So because the US dollar is arguably one of the most popular currencies, so we're going to leave it at the US dollars. Other than that, you can change the base currency by clicking within this and then of course removing the US dollar and then maybe putting in any other currency, uh, say for example the Nigerian Naira or any other currency as, as you may deem fit, okay? But for the purpose of this exercise, we're gonna leave it at the US dollar and then you click on next. So when you click on next, it will basically ask you where you want to locate your database. I, I really don't have a problem with that. So I think it's okay exactly where, you know, it, it is going within my system. And then you have option to load sample data. So if you check this load sample data, which is already checked, Provera will install with pre-existing project. There are certain sample projects that are already in Primavera. Uh, it's actually very good to leave it like that, to leave the load sample data. Because even for anything, sometimes those projects that come by default, you can actually use them as templates when you're creating a new project. So we'll leave it at load sample data and then you now click on save. So because I already have P6 installed, the earlier version, and I had a database, that's why I'm getting this message. But you may not get this message. So I want to overwrite it. I click on OK. So you can see it says my alias is saved successfully. So I click on OK. And then it brings me back to this page. So I want to now connect it to the existing standalone database, which of course I have just created. And then so I click on Next. And then this time around, I click on test. So the moment I click on test, you can see it says that the test connection is successful. So I click on OK. So once you've done that and you've tested and discovered that the connection is successful, 
then you can now close your database configuration page and then of course every other thing you can close them as well okay awesome so now we want to now launch our p6 that we have just installed so i simply go to my start and then i type in p6 so you can see it here not the visualizer but the p6 professional so this p6 professional 20 and that's the one i've just installed so because i want to already because i use this quite often i want to pin it to my taskbar so I click on this arrow and then I pin it to my taskbar. So you can see it's now appearing in my, in my taskbar. So anytime I want to launch it, I can decide to launch it from start or I can just come to my taskbar and then click on it. And when I click on it, it will launch. All right, so this is my P6 um, that has come up. So all I simply need to do, I enter my username. Remember, my username is admin. And then I also enter my password, which, of course, is also the same. Then I click on connect. So the moment I do that, you will notice that P6 will eventually open. Of course, one of the messages you will see is appropriate industry for the organization has not yet been selected in admin preferences. Please contact your administrator. So I simply click on OK. So once I click on OK, then my Primavera would launch. So this is essentially my Primavera P6. So you can see those sample data that I loaded. So assuming I unchecked that box for sample data, then um, uh, you won't see these default projects but then of course i like the fact that i have a couple of default projects here just in the event you want to ensure that the previous pop-up message doesn't show again you can simply go to admin to, to configure the appropriate industry so i go to admin and then i go to admin preferences and then i go to industry so here you can select the relevant industry with which you work in primavera p6 so there are different industries here engineering and construction government aerospace and defense you know high technology so all you simply need to do is just select any of these industries depending on where you work and then that initial pop-up message about appropriate industry has not been configured may not show up again so that's essentially how to download and then also be able to install your primavera p6 um of course notice that we have the full course in the event you want to go through the course you can check out my other videos and then also check in the link below so that you can have access to the full course for this particular training and then after you've gone through the full course i can guarantee you that you will not just become proficient but then you'll become an expert in the use of primavera p6 so click on this link below to be able to sign up for this course and then see my other videos where i gave a detailed breakdown about how to use primavera p6 thank you so much for